If you're a fan of Stranger Things who can't wait for the new season to come out, you're in luck. The series is apparently getting a spin-off comic book series centered around one of the show's most prominent villains. News about this new comic book has many fans excited, and in today's video, we'll discuss all this and also talk about some other interesting spin-off ideas we've got. So let's dive right in. Starting off, a Stranger Things villain is getting a spin-off series. Even though Stranger Things Season 4 is over, a well-liked villain from the show will now get his own spin-off series. According to Screen Rant, Dark Horse will soon publish a comic book series of Dr. Martin Brenner, who's also known as Papa. The new series, appropriately named Stranger Things, The Many Ghosts of Dr. Brenner, will delve into depth into Brenner's early life, most likely before the time when he locked up all special needs children at the institution where Eleven escaped. Dr. Martin Brenner, a disgraced scientist, returned to the abandoned facility where he and his colleagues conducted research on top-secret government projects at the beginning of the new Stranger Things series in 1968. In addition to the abandoned studies, a ghostly figure from his past also seemed to be observing his every step. Although we're unsure of what this ghostly figure represents, it may be one of his earlier creations that possessed abilities like those of Vecna and Eleven. Dr. Brenner had a significant role in Stranger Things Season 1 and 4, although nothing is known about him outside of the fact that he built a center for children who possess telekinetic abilities. We anticipate that this comic book series can provide much more information about Brenner's background and indicate whether or not he's aware of more information regarding the Upside Down than was previously published. Being a tie-in, Stranger Things, The Many Ghosts of Dr. Brenner may be crucial in exposing key details that might appear in Season 5 of Stranger Things. Moving on. Are there more potential spin-offs and tie-ins coming? Although Stranger Things Season 5 is supposed to wrap up the entire main plot, given how popular the show has grown, we anticipate there will be a lot more tie-ins and spin-offs. Based on the success of the franchise, the Duffer Brothers creation is something truly unique that may endure beyond the core plot. Fans would undoubtedly want to know more background information on Dr. Brenner and other well-known characters. Eddie Munson is a character from Stranger Things that we would expect viewers would be eager to learn more about, even if his entrance and subsequent leadership abilities have already been well expressed. We'd also like to learn more about Dimitri, since we're curious about how he was able to smuggle Hopper out. Even Crazy Yuri is a character that fans of Stranger Things would undoubtedly want to learn more about. Most of the side characters in the show have the potential to star in smaller series of their own, and people would love to watch them. The reason behind that is they would have really high expectations due to the character's relationship with the main show. Following up on what more we know about the series and future comic releases. The Duffer Brothers have created a vivid mystical world that is full of possibilities when it comes to backstories and deeper dives. This goes especially for the lesser known but great Stranger Things characters from Season 4. The four issue Stranger Things The Many Ghosts of Dr. Brenner miniseries will be released on January 11, 2023. We're unsure if Season 5 of Stranger Things will have major consequences from the comic book series, but the Duffer Brothers will undoubtedly let everyone know if that's the case. While fans were eagerly wondering if there will be more spin-offs for Stranger Things, a comic book series was definitely not on the top of our minds. But now that we think about it, it seems like the perfect way to capture the spark of the original series without having to worry about the cast getting too old. Fans have been wanting to see more of Steve and Robin having their own side adventures and fun. While the actors that play them on the screen may want to move on to new projects after Stranger Things is done, we definitely think that the two would work amazingly as a duo for a comic book series. They just have natural energy to them that we think could be translated very well on the pages. Plus, comic books are the perfect way to flesh out the world of Stranger Things without having to invest too much in creating an entirely fresh TV series. It seems that the many ghosts of Dr. Brenner plans on doing exactly this. Up next, what do we know about Season 5 of Stranger Things? Netflix's fourth season of Stranger Things finally ended, and despite the lengthy wait, the results more than made up for it. There are high expectations for Stranger Things Season 5. When we eventually met up with the party, they were still coping with the issues in the Upside Down, even if they no longer all lived in Hawkins, Indiana. It was a narrative that provided answers to a variety of concerns about the show and laid the groundwork for something much greater. Therefore, even though the fourth season has already concluded, there are already concerns about Season 5. We hopefully won't have to wait as long as we did the last time to meet up with Mike, Eleven, and the rest of the crew. So far, we don't know all that much about the final season regarding its plot and story, but that doesn't imply that progress isn't being made. No, not at all. 
The Writers' Room's Twitter account, at Stranger Writers, sent an update revealing that this group was working on the final season. Even if a blank whiteboard might not give you much hope that Stranger Things Season 5 will arrive anytime soon, it's comforting to know that work is already underway. We should also mention that Season 5 might start from exactly where we left things off. Between the conclusion of the third season and the start of the fourth, the program spanned over three years, during which there was a worldwide epidemic, significant delays, scheduling issues with the stars, and much more. When all was said and done, the primary cast of young actors had aged noticeably, giving the fourth season a strange air, particularly if you were binge-watching the program from the start. Even though the story's two parts were only a few months apart, the character's true aging was obvious. If all goes well, we shouldn't experience any problems with Stranger Things Season 5. The Byers team and Eleven moved to sunny California for the fourth season, while the rest of the gang struggled in Hawkins with rising problems. The other was directly associated with the recent string of seemingly random high school student killings that Vecna, a man who was unquestionably more formidable than anybody they had yet encountered, was responsible for. There are still some mysteries about the whole upside-down realm left to uncover. Going into Stranger Things Season 5, a lot of this is still unanswered from where things left off. Before Mike Wheeler arrived and everything started to go wrong, Will, Eleven, and Jonathan were accustomed to a normal high school existence in California. Before they knew it, Mike and Will were trying to evade the military as Eleven was on her way back to the lab with Joyce to reduce Hopper while she was on her way to Russia. The pace was hectic throughout, especially at the conclusion, but given how things ended, Stranger Things Season 5 might open up roughly where we left off, with the gang standing on a destroyed Hawkins and Max still in her coma. Finally, which of the cast members are returning for the show's final season? With the primary cast, this show has maintained consistency throughout its duration. Season 5 will continue this trend, with Eleven being portrayed by Millie Bobby Brown, Mike by Finn Wolfhard, and Will by Noah Schnapp. Some of the other main characters, such as Dustin and Lucas, will also be played by their respective actors. Sadie Sink's Max was in a coma when we last saw her. She'd failed to successfully flee Vecna's clutches as she'd hoped. Fans tend to assume a character is still alive if they didn't show up for the burial, and Max would seem to fit that description. It'll be interesting to watch how, or if she does come back. We predict that she took on some of Eleven's and Vecna's abilities during the swap, and in the end, she'll save the day. Simply our two cents. We should expect to see Winona Judd's Joyce, David Harbour's Hopper, as well as Natalie Dyer's Nancy, Joe Keery's Steve, Maya Hawke's Robin, and many more supporting actors because everyone came together in the last scene. Joseph Quinn as Eddie Munson and Matthew Modine as Dr. Martin Brenner, both of whom very much look to be dead by the end of the season, most likely won't be returning for the fifth season. But that hasn't stopped fans from wanting Eddie Munson to come back in some form. Even a flashback will do. Hopefully, the Duffer Brothers have something planned for the fan-favorite character. That's a wrap for this video. We'll see you in the next one.